Good morning, students, and welcome to e-learning program. So today's discussion topic is what in Excel. I hope students you are regularly follow my class. And previous class I have already finished the second chapter from your slides. That is formatting worksheet and entering Excel formulas. And today I will discuss about the working Excel. Uh, which is based on the home tab. So you know very well what is the content are present on your chapter and that is a very similar kind of chapter which you have also learned in class 7 and the chapter is very small so I am not introduced briefly for advanced excel. So students I will tell you today what is the advanced excel how to work in excel and I have introduced each and every tab and how to perform all these options in Excel. So today I will discuss in the home tab. So let's see uh, which methods and which options are we for you to do. So today's discussion topic about home tab insert columns and rows, orientation, wrap text, march and center, changing the alignment of text, sort and filter, and last uh, create a calendar on Excel sheet that also will. So stay and watch till the end and let's see how we are going to open excel and we have to perform all these operations so before we start the video please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for get the notifications now students i have already opened ms excel so first i will make a small format and then i will apply all these things so first column you have to write the product i hope you are watch carefully quantity and last here total now here i am give some the product name like mouse okay keyboard okay so monitor and ups okay and also give the weight now here put the quantity to six Seven now how to find out so making total means first we have to select this one into quantity let into quantity okay so our total will come automatically and here drag the mouse by the free hand so automatically result will give now now we are uh, going to uh, format our data so first we select the range then we click style cells from the styles group and here we click first the title first we click on the title because we are select the first row and click on the title so that is used for title and if that text are too much white and not adjusted in the cell so if you are double click here so automatically adjust it and then select other text click on the style sales options and click on the headings or also you have to link to the link sales calculations of or natural goals everything so what you have to apply to select from here and these are the weight and quantity and total which I also will apply from here so if you want you can choose it I'm choosing this. Now you can also the border apply the border from here only. So I hope you understand how to decorate it, uh, our format. And uh, after that, uh, if you are creating a total uh, using a dollar sign, so how to use it? So first you select the text and click on the style cells. And here, if you are in currency, so automatically dollar sign will give you can see also uh, the preview. Now, see here, if you are click here currency, the so dollar sign only will be If you are not using a dollar sign, only comma, so if you click on the commas, okay, so not only only commas, so you have to choose only commas will be and it is a currency symbol that is currency and also commas both, and that is the parcels. So we are using here currency and also dollar okay and also commas so stay here and use the commas okay so you can also use the apply dollar signs or also commas okay for as 
currency symbols for your data. So you can also apply the currency symbol from the sales from the style script. Okay, next. So if you want to add here some rows and columns. So first uh, we when we add the rows, so if you have a select the here, I'm select keyboard and if you am inserting here, inserting means on new row will inserted in the box. So new row is inserted on the above of the keyboards. So if you uh, again another row I'm inserting here, so UPS. So that above the UPS the row will be inserted. Now it is. So I am just two row inserted. So you can also using options too. Uh, so now, if you want to using the options to add your rows and columns, so first you go to the insert button from the sales group. Okay, and wait first to select where you want to add the sale. I have already added keyboard, so that means uh, after mouse that on row. I have built in on add. So click on the insert button and click on the insert cell. So you can see a new row automatically added. So here um, you have to write some the product name. I'm giving it here. Give it to now speaker and putting it away. I have to do this. So 1000, 125, and drag here. So automatically let the speaker is there. Now if you are want a column, so first where you add the column, so I am putting here add the columns here. So if you will insert here, so another new column will insert it. And using the option, so if you click on the insert options again, so only insert seed column and uh, so in here just to click on the insert cell option. Insert cell column. So automatically column added here so that is a process to use to add the rows and color in the entire boxes so i hope to this you will understand how to add the column and rows in a box now next uh, which i want to apply that is our orientations so first uh, I remove this column here we are don't know don't need to add extra column here so we can also control J and recover here now uh, we are going to add to the orientation of the product name so you take uh, select the entire product name select first and click on the here orientation where is alignment group alignment group and the here you click the orientations now you see all type of orientations are present okay in the drop down list. So, first use the angel block and device. So, if you click here, so our text are decorated like angel so clockwise and counted like clockwise. And that angle clockwise, if you are click, so that is angle clockwise. Vertical text means our text will be vertically places. Okay. If you click here, or rotate the text up, so our text. Is be rotate and rotate text down so that means text are will be rotated in the down. So you, you can choose any one option and also apply as a orientation. If you add orientation on your box sheet and then uh, your uh, seats like different to others, looks like very different to others, so we can use also the orientation. So we can use it here, text document. And these values are present now in the right side down corner because already selected here you can see that the below. And if you want to the middle, then all the text, all the values are showing in the middle. So first you select the range, I have already selected. First you select the entire range of rate 1 to 10 to 2 and then click on the middle. So our data and also center, center and middle I have selected. So our data represents the selling middle and center. Okay. So.
So that is simple process to decorate our text in a center and also the middle positions after uh, using the orientation. I will add here on columns. So if you click here also adding a column insert and otherwise uh, we can use insert options. Okay, so if you click on every row, so you can go to the insert options and click here. Click the insert options. Now to select the range, select the cell and then click on the march center. You will write here softly in the size. Now you can use it here. Red color. Also you can apply for double click. So that's I have using also heading of that format. Now students are our format is looks like is very different and also very unique. And uh, if you are adding a dollar sum, so here you can also add the currency symbols like here. So currency symbols adding for using the numbers and click on the combo boxes drop down list and choose the currency symbol. Here also you can add the currency. I hope students you understand uh, uh, how to apply like alignment text middle and late and also the top middle and the below center and that is the size of the text after you select and then you uh, increase your text size okay so it looks like uh, wide your text okay so i uh, i suggest you and you apply uh, the size according all the text present in our set okay then you size now students move on to the next uh, topic that is a wrap text you wrap text also present in the alignment group so i am choosing here new set six uh, set two and now i will put some text here like uh, creating data table so right here creating C R E L T I D creating a data table okay now if you see here our text length is uh, wide than the cell so if you click here and select the merge so there will be single cell will be merge your data okay so here we have problem to merging our data in the cells because here text text length is very wide okay so if you write again creating data set C R A T I creating data set okay so you write first the creating a data set okay so click on the wrap text when you click on the wrap text or automatically text or multiple lines are decorated in a single cell so that is a wrap text a wrap text are used is a multiple line in a single cell so that is called wrap text if you are not using a wrap text now also uh, when you type or when you in input a data like uh, here creating creating and place the alt enter pressing alt enter okay. and here write data again alt enter and tell it okay so here uh, without click on the wrap text using a shortcut key we are also use that uh, options which is by alt enter now if you are click on the wrap text the wrap text will be moved and again click on the wrap text so the text will become with the single cell into multiple line and what is a mark center mark center is a Mass center is a center that is joined selected cell into a one larger cell. Okay, that means group of cells are combined into a single cell. It is called a mass cells. So that is a options of wrap text. So next options. Next option changing the arrangement of the text. I have already applied the text here. Uh, Center left right. So again, I am creating. So I select that range. Then click on center left. 
right so that is the arrangement and also you can use it here up down and below center so this is the arrange options according to your format you set up your data in your set and last topic today that is calendar and how to use a calendar in your work set now students i will show you how to create a calendar so first i uh, will select a new set set one and after click on the calendar the calendar time and see that is april month 2020 i will back and open the January 2020 this calendar and look at the format of the calendars so that same format I'm creating here on the worksheet so first uh, name of the weekdays are written like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday so we are also write here SU for Sunday okay first you write SU Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and so now after write the name of the weekdays okay then open again the calendar and what is the first day of the month wednesday so you write here one and after <coughs> two three and four before we can also add the previous number like zero after zero before minus one and here minus two uh, we can add and fill all the numbers like first we add the numbers of the first day of the month then after we can add in the numbers of date of the weekday and before add the numbers we cannot um, use as a blank cell so that's why we have to put the numbers uh, which is one to the negative value or also positive value it doesn't matter but we can fill the series by the numbers now next step is select the few rows and then click to the fill option from the editing groups next it is a click on the series now here select on the column because i am performing our data in the column so you have right here column and select the date because we have find out the date so you click on the date radio button type date and here the trends because january january is a 31st day in the first month of the year so the step value because seven days in a week so you write here seven days that is step value seven and after stop value is 31 that is the last day of the month here you put the last day of the month and after you click ok so now uh, you open the calendar here and January now you can see that 31st on the Friday here also 31st is a Friday and I think that format uh, as the match to the computer calendar has matched already and you have to remove the previous numbers which I have included ok and then you have to create like give your formatting styles ok here are also something different like that ok and adding a border ok that is a month of January so how to create a February like same process we can add also this row if you add here for month of February and after January so for January last day is Friday on the 31st January and the start will be Saturday so Saturday will be one of the next month February so first day of the February we come Saturday. So here uh, we can add the numbers like before 1 comes 0, 0 comes minus 1, okay. Here minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and last is minus 5. Okay. Now 
Similarly, select the range and then click on the same option, fill. Okay. So 2020 is the February month, May month is a leap year. So leap year is a 29 days present. I think you see here. So 29 is in the February. So uh, here you can stay values series and click here color date and write here seven and input here 29 days and input. Now uh, remove the data, delete, 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 delete. So this also the month of the February has completed. So that is the way uh, to use a calendar by using a field buttons and using a series. Okay. So that is a very useful option uh, uh, to create a calendar very easily. So I hope you students uh, you understand uh, how to create a calendar in an Excel sheet. And I hope another function last I'm going that is sort and filter. What is sort and filter? Now move on to the seat four. Sorry, move on to the seat four. And here we can uh, quantity that format I have made the first in the video. Uh, so we have input like 3, so automatically our value will be come because 250 into 3 that is 750. Now how to sort and filter use it? So first you select this column, or select this column or select the number. Then click on the sort and filter. If you arrange your total like largest to smallest, so click on here, so it sort. So automatically our value will come in the largest to smallest. And if you want your data uh, represent on the seat like its smallest to largest, so automatically our data will be arranged like small to largest. So these are options from the home tab uh, which I have discussed today. I hope students you understand um, how to use the Options or how to create to help you uh, different types of functions in Excel and in a in a Excel sheet. So thank you, students, uh, for watching this video.